Hi there, Larry Ann here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you are well. Today I am working on a soap that I made before. It was actually, I think, the third soap that I had ever made, but I want to remake it. And it is inspired by this really cute gift bag that my one of my sister's friends gave me a gift in. It is so cute that I was like, I have to try to make a soap inspired by you. I have to try. So I did, and I wasn't 100% happy with the results, so that's why I'm doing a remix. I am unmolding the embeds that were made the night before. Here's the soap dough to make the rainbows. Here are the supplies to roll and cut the soap dough. Sprinkle the surface with some potato starch or cornstarch so that your soap dough doesn't stick. And roll out. How do you make soap dough? Hmm, I don't know if there is a technical way to make it, but I know how I make it. I will link a video that shows you how I make it below. Get mama spraying alcohol. Yes, I am going to spray each layer with 99% isopropyl alcohol and that just helps the soap dough stick. And I'm rolling it out just to make sure that all the layers are sticking to each other. And I decided that I wanted to make two small rainbows as opposed to one big rainbow. And that's why I'm cutting it in half lengthwise. And here I am forming the dough around the rolling pin and I'm gonna to switch to a spoon handle. making a few adjustments to the final shape of the rainbow and then I'm going to give a final spritz of alcohol and let it sit overnight. And here I am going to dust the white star embed with the 24 karat gold mica and that's just so that it looks like an outlined star in the final bar of soap. And there in the bag you can see the little white stars that are outlined in gold. Adding color stabilizer to the fragrance oil and I picked sweet pea for the fragrance oil for this soap. It smells so sweet. Mmm, rice pudding. I don't know. I don't know. Is this ricing? Yes, no, I don't know. We'll stick blend it. Nice and smooth. I'm trying to avoid having a hole going down the center of this soap embed, so that's why I'm pouring a little bit of soap down the middle of it. And I put this embed on the wrong side and I couldn't fix it because it's the embed that's covered in the gold mica powder so that gold mica powder would be everywhere. So I just left it there. I'm 
time to play what's on my embed tray today. Well, aren't these cute? Little suns and little clouds. Aww. Time to add some sparkle and shine. Mandatory motion sickness inducing shaky shot. It's been two days, which means it's time to cut this soap. Okay, so there's two stars on one side and two rainbows on the other side, but I think I like it better than the last one that I did, so that means that next time I make this soap, it's gonna be perfect, right? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. Just go along with it and lie to me, okay? I tried to avoid having holes in the soap, such as this one here, but I can fix it. Just take some soap off of one of your end pieces and kind of roll it around until it's soft and then use that to fill the hole. And then it will look like it was never there. See? As always, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, or leave a comment below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.